Hi y'all, it's Skye and thanks for visiting my channel. So, um, yeah, it's been some time since we did a new arrival roundup, but welcome! We are gonna do one this week. I could not skip it. We basically celebrated every holiday this week with Diamond Art Club releases, and I am here for it. I'm excited. So I thought that we would just give it a try, come back to the old roundup, and look through all of the images that Diamond Art Club has posted on their social medias this week, and I will just ramble on about them, as I always do. N uh, Nugget's here. I don't know if you can hear him or not, but he's making a bunch of noise. His toys are still behind me, being a mess, but... That's how he likes it, so that's how we're gonna keep it. If you're new here, or if you've forgotten the way that this works because it's been so long since I did one, I am going to link all of the sneak peeks down below so that you can find a video that is more thorough. If you like any of the images that we look at, there should be a video related to it down below. And you can check out those creators unboxing the kits that you are interested in. Now, as far as the releases for Saturday are concerned, I don't know yet how many of those are gonna get sneak peeks. I think that shipping might have been ever so slightly delayed on those, so I'm not sure about that just yet, but by the time you see this video, you will know, and there will be links down below. I just don't have the information just yet because I'm filming on a Thursday in the traditional sky style. I don't have much time on Fridays, so I'm filming most of this on Thursday, and then we'll just tack on a little bit tomorrow afternoon whenever I get the chance. Oh yes, oh yes, release time. See, I've already forgotten how, <laughs> how this even works. So the kits that are releasing Saturday, which I will tell you whenever we are looking at one that releases Saturday, those will release at 9 a.m. Pacific time or 12 p.m. Eastern time for Diamond and Ruby level members, and then 30 minutes later for the general access release. The ones that we discuss first are going to be kits that have already been released, and some of them have already sold out, but we'll talk about that. But those you'll be able to find on Diamond Art Club's website if they haven't sold out. Okay, here we are on Diamond Art Club's Instagram, and I've got to go back to these. Oh, 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 wait. I have I have costume changes for this video. <laughs> we're we're gonna we're gonna wear a scarf. This is not well, hang on. Okay. Ta-da! <laughs> We've got a spider webby scarf. Alright, now we can look at these Halloween releases. This one is Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory by Mandy Manzano. It is 56 centimeters by 79 centimeters. It is square drill with 67 colors and four ABs. That is a lot of colors, which it looks like it needs all of these colors. It's so pretty. This, this is the rendering. I also need to look on Facebook and see if it's cut off. I think it was cut off. Okay, here is the full image. Here is the full rendering. How pretty is that? All of these colors. I bet there's some AB right there. I bet there's white AB. I wonder what else. How many ABs did it even say? Probably a bunch. Four ABs. Okay, well, okay, I'm gonna call yellow and white. What else though? Green? All right, no, no, hmm, pink. <laughs> it could really be anything and it would work really well. I do really like this one. I, I know that I always say I'm not a big fan of the Mandy's, but I really like this one. I think it would be fun to work on because there's obviously a lot going on. There's not a whole lot of blocking here. It's just color filled and I love, I love Willy Wonka anyway. Okay. Let's move along. Oh, the the Dark Fantasy Mystery by Christopher Lovell or Lavelle. I think I've been saying it wrong and it's Lavelle, but I always say Lovell. I don't know why. Anyway, so let's say it's Lavelle. This one is still in stock. I pulled it up here to see if it was still in stock. So this is Diamond Art Club's website. 
it is for now still in stock, which I'm kind of surprised. I thought that it would sell out, but I, I don't know. Maybe everybody is just kind of over the Halloween thing. I don't know. I, I couldn't tell you why. I do know what this kit is because I always have to play detective and I watched, um, who did, it was Nurse Rachel, Nurse Rachel. I watched the sneak peek of this one and she was, she was pretty clear on where the spoilers were and how it would be pretty obvious once she showed certain portions of the canvas. And she was right. I figured it out, uh, when she showed those portions and I do really like the image, but I just don't know if I like it enough to do a whole diamond painting of it. I don't know. I mean, it's still in stock, so I could still change my mind, but I passed on it. I, I, I don't know what it is about the mystery kits, but like if, if I let it be a mystery, I, I won't buy it. Like if I was going to just, just say, oh, I'm going to go in blind on this one. I know that I love Christopher Lavelle's art. I'm just going to get it. No, no, I'm never going to do that. I'm always going to figure out what it is. And if I don't figure out what it is, there have been a couple that I couldn't figure out and I, I won't buy them. And then I'll regret it when I find out what it is. I know that I should have, but I just won't buy it unless I know. <laughs> That's like against the purpose of a mystery. Anyway, rambling. Okay, this is Westy Scotty Halloween by Rosemary Berlin. It is 61 centimeters by 48 centimeters. It is square drill. It has 46 colors and three ABs. And here is the rendering. This one is so, so cute. I think it is cut off though. Yeah, it was cut off. There's the full image. And then here is the full rendering. You know, the only thing that can make this better is if those were pugs, <laughs> but... You know, these are adorable little puppies anyway. I love it. I didn't realize that the background was not all one color. So that is nice. I don't know why. Like, this is obviously a very different color than this yellow that's brown and this is yellow. But I just thought it was going to be a solid background and that would be a ton of color blocking. So I immediately dismissed it as not for me. But I mean, it's still a lot of blocking. But this has probably got some confetti in the, the puppies and maybe in the jack-o'-lantern here. I love the faces, the puppies faces and the jack-o'-lantern face. This is this super adorable. Okay, next is Beetlejuice. This is called the ghost with the most. It is 43 centimeters by 48 centimeters. It is a round drill. It has seven colors with one AB. I think his little hands cut off here. Okay, let's move over to Facebook. There we go. There's the full image. There's the full rendering. Now, I have to admit, I've never seen any of the Beetlejuice things, movies, shows, anything that has to do with Beetlejuice. I don't even know what all has to do with Beetlejuice, but I haven't seen it. So I can't really elaborate much because I don't know. I assume this is Beetlejuice. I don't know who these people are. <laughs> I do like the lettering. I like the, the colors and the stripes on that, which I'm sure makes sense with the show, but I don't know the significance of it, but I do think that it's pretty. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of color blocking here. There's not very many colors, so everything's going to be in blocks, like the this red, all of this, I assume on the back is 310. I assume the suit is all one color. So, you know, you'd have to really like color blocking or really like Beetlejuice, but I uh, sadly do not know anything about Beetlejuice, so I passed on this one. Okay. What's next? So, what is this? Happy, oh, a Happy Halloween post. It's got this cute gnome that released, like, what? Uh, early October, I guess? Though That release went so fast and they were all so cute. I didn't, I didn't get any of them. Do you hear Nugget snoring? My goodness. Okay. So next is our creamy turkey. I wanted this one so much. It is sold out now. It, I don't think it's limited edition. Oh, wait, before I start talking about this, I can't wear my Halloween stuff. Now it's Thanksgiving. <laughs> We've moved on. I can't get it off. I can't, I can't get it off. All right. I don't really know what to wear for the Thanksgiving portion, but, uh, we've got this sweater it looks it's pumpkin pie colored so that's what we're gonna go with okay back to our turkey so with this one we don't have 
like a original image and the rendering we just have this photo which is really cool looking but this is turkey for thanksgiving by randall spangler it is 125 centimeters by 56 centimeters it is square drill it has 63 colors and four ab's i love it i love it and i love this this is one of my favorite like instagram photos that they've ever done i would eat all of this it looks wonderful i like that they even have the candles here like the candles my phone is doing stuff okay anyway so i missed out on this <laughs> it's it's wait i said did i say i was going to check if it was limited edition i don't remember if i said that or not but let's go here's the new arrival section Obviously, it wants me to sign up for emails. It does not say that it is limited edition. So hopefully I'll be able to get it in the future whenever it comes back in stock. I mean, of course, this one would sell out. This is just this is perfection. As far as like American Thanksgiving goes, there is just this is like the picture. Uh, I know that like I saw some complaints on Facebook not complaints necessarily but people that didn't want the draglings in the in the photo that that kind of like took away from it for them because it added like a fantasy element and they wanted it to be like really just the food and the turkey and the fall trees in the background I get that I get that but I love the draglings too I think I think it's just too cute <laughs> I I am even more sad now that I missed out on this this one's long too. Like it's it's big, big wide. Not it's not like super huge. Tall wise length? No length, width. I, this would be width. This would be length. I I don't know. Anyway, it's it's long. It's really long. I really hate that I didn't get it. Okay, okay. Enough suffering. Now now we can look at Christmas stuff. Okay, we got to get rid of the sweater. <laughs> it's Christmas now. No. Oh, I don't know what it's doing. <laughs> okay, now, <laughs> now it's Christmas. All right. So now that we've gotten to these Christmassy ones, these are going to be the ones that release tomorrow, Saturday, right? I get, I am very confused on what day of the week it is. So these are going to release tomorrow. So this one is Country Christmas Gifts by Donna Gelsinger. It is 55.8 centimeters by 73.7 centimeters. It is square drill. It has 62 colors and four ABs. And there's the red ring. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I don't know if it's cut off. Hang on. I don't think it was. Maybe it was. Well, anyway, here we are. And here is the rendering. This is so good. It's so good. I love the art style of... Donna Gelsinger, so pretty. I, I particularly love the presents. I think that would be really, really fun to diamond paint. I love the little cardinal. I love the snowman with his little arm and he's got the present ready. I am starting to feel so festive, like put up my Christmas tree type mood, even though it is the first week of November and literally I was just wearing a spiderweb scarf like five minutes ago, but I am here for the Christmas stuff. Okay, the next one is Checking the List by Marcelo Corti. I don't know if I'm saying that name correctly. 55.8 centimeters by 83.7 centimeters. It is square drill, 57 colors with four ABs. This one, the rendering is very good as well. I have, I have looked at these. <laughs> Christmas ones so many times since they popped up on Instagram. I love it. I love that they've got this kitty sleeping here. I love the stockings in the background. Santa looks perfectly rendered. Look at all of these and ruffles. I'm, ruffles is not the word, but like you can tell that this is so fluffy here just by the, the choices of drill placement. It's going to look so good. And then, of course, I love the wreath tree. Love it all. Even his boots look really good, like the shading on that. And then the list. It's, it's perfection. Absolute perfection. Am I going to buy all of these? Oh my gosh. I really, really, really don't need to do that. I like. I think I could like maximum do two Christmas kits. 
because I'm not going to want to work on it after Christmas. Then then it'll just be sad. <laughs> but there's no way I need to buy all these. But, you know, there's there's future Christmases. I don't know. All right. Should I check Facebook? I just kind of assumed that this wasn't cut off, but I guess it could have been. I guess I should check Facebook. Hang on. Was it maybe? No, I don't I don't think it was cut off. Okay. Oh, I just saw the detailing on the rug. Maybe it was cut off and I couldn't see that before or I would have commented. That looks really good. Man, this is impressive. Anyway, next. This is Nativity Scene by Marcelo Corti, who was the artist of the last one and I probably said it wrong twice now. 50.7 centimeters by 73.7 centimeters it is round drill. 58 colors with four ABs. And there is the rendering. So pretty. The blues in this one are what gets me. I love like Mary's robes here. It looks so good. Let, let's check Facebook. Was it cut off? I say that every time. I never know if it's cut off or not. So here is definitely the full rendering. Again, the blue. Loving the blue. The the red, I bet there's a bunch of reds also. But I bet there's tons of different colors of blue. Because you've got all these like night sky colors. And then you've got all of the robe colors. I don't, maybe some of this back here might even be like a really dark blue. I don't know. And then we've got all of these like... A colors, yellows, browns, and then Joseph's robes here too. There's just a lot of detail going on, and I bet there is there's so many different colors in here that I'm not even able to see. Like how many did they say? Fifty-eight colors. So fifty-eight colors, and I, all I can keep saying is like blue and and tan. But, you know, there's going to be so much detail, so much shading in this. It's going to look so good. And this is round drill, right? The others were square. Square, square, round. Yeah, so that's the first round of the Christmas releases. I hope that the star is AB. I mean, really, like, any anything they pick for ABs would be good. How many ABs even are there? Four? I don't know what they would be. I would just say a white one for sure, but maybe some of this like yellowy color here could be AB. I don't know. I don't even want to try to guess. Okay, we can move on to the next post, which like I said, it's Thursday, so there will be another one tomorrow, but this is all I have for right now. Why are you already on the rendering? Go back. Okay, this is Gingerbread House by Gina Jane. Oh, I love Gina Jane. 32.8 centimeters by 45.7 centimeters. It's round also. And 40 colors with four ABs. Okay, there's the rendering. I feel like this must be cut off. Hang on. Yeah, I think the top and bottom was a little cut off. So like there's the original image. Here is the rendering. I freaking love it. I love it. This makes me want a, a what are these called? I call them nutty bars. Is that what they're called? Or I call it, they're nutty, they're nutty bars. And people call them Nutty Buddies. Or are they Nutty Buddies? I don't I don't know. Anyway, I want one of these. It has peanut butter in it. I also think the peppermints are really cute. And all these little gumdrops and things. I've got lollipop back there. This one is on the small side, right? 32 by 45 centimeters. Yeah, that, that's pretty small. and But still 40 colors. So there's a lot going on. And then the background... Yeah... The background is definitely not all one color, but at, at first I was thinking it's two colors, but I think it may be way more than that, and I just can't tell. It's very, it's very well blended. Then I, I wonder if we'll get a white AB. I wonder if like all of that white is going to be white AB. That would be pretty serious. But I think how many did it say? Uh, four, four. I guess maybe yellow for like the lighting inside the house. I mean, red would work, green would work, purple would work. So many different choices. <laughs> oh, this is going to be so cute and probably work up pretty quickly since it's small. All right, what's next? Oh, this one's really pretty too. <laughs> Together for Christmas by Donna Gelsinger. It is 50.7 centimeters by 68.9 centimeters. It is another round. 
It has 53 colors with four ABs. So, so pretty. Yes, I love it. Okay, I don't know if it's cut off or not. So let's just go to right here. And then right here, here is the full rendering. This is very detailed, very, very pretty too. I, I do love cardinals. They remind me of my grandmother who also loved cardinals. I like these candles in the window and I really like how this is rendered here. I, I can't really like put it into words, but I like the way like the snow is blowing past the window and then you see the candles and the nice aura that they're giving off. I don't know. I, and you can tell that it's being seen through the window because of the coloring, and the shading, and I, I don't know. So pretty. So good. As always, very impressive. Okay. Next one. This one is Merry and Bright by Donna Gelsinger. It is 55.8 centimeters by 73.7 centimeters. It is square drill, 57 colors with four ABs. And let me tell you, this one is so freaking good. I, I mean, if it's cut off, it's very little, but I'm still going to pull it up on Facebook. Okay, there you go. There's the rendering on Facebook. This one, I, uh, I did the sneak peek for. It's so good. It's so good. And I said, I say how good it is like a thousand times in the video. So if you already watched that, I apologize for making you sit through this again, but it is so good. <laughs> There are so many ABs. The, this Christmas tree is just going to be chock full of ABs. Like, I think every AB is in the tree. Like, it's other places too. But I think that every single one of them is used in the tree. Of course, the little animals. The rendering is so good with those. They look adorable. I was really impressed with the fire. Like, how well the, that is captured in the rendering. It looks really good. Love the wreath. Love the flowers. Love the garland. I love it. I can't really say anything else other than how much I am absolutely in love with this one. Like, definitely confetti in the tree, but there are some little, little blocks here and there. But not, not like tons and tons, but definitely confetti in the tree is going to be so fun. Well, I mean, it's going to be fun if you like confetti. If you don't, then I, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> okay, so that is all of the posts that we have to look at right now. Tomorrow is going to be kind of a big day for me because I have to go to the airport and back before I film the rest of this video. So if I forget to put on the Santa hat, just so oh well. We're, we're going to say we did the costume the whole way through. It'll be fine. But anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hi! It's Friday. I've done a lot of things since we spoke last, but now I'm very tired and we are going to look at this last batch of Christmas releases. I love this one. This is Watching Santa Go by Marcelo Corti, that same name that I've been having trouble with. This is 56 centimeters by 84 centimeters. It is square drill. 61 colors with four ABs. So adorable. Look at the rendering. It's so cute. Man, once again, if only one of them was a pug, <laughs> but you can't win them all. They're, they're all freaking gorgeous. They're just so cute. I love, I love this one that's got his like little, little paw over the other one's shoulder. So cute. And of course, Santa looks really good too. All of this is very detailed. Very pretty. I, I don't know if it's cut off, but I guess I guess we should look at it on Facebook. Oh, these are not in the same order. Okay. Oh, there's some gnomes. We'll look at that in a minute. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this one is the full image, which I maybe the top and the bottom might have been cut off. There's the full rendering. I love this. I like all the shading in the, the snow down here, like kind of breaking up the monotony of like color blocking snow, which would just be like white on white on white and then this up here might just be one color like obviously the little white stars are in there but then i think this might just be the same color blue so there might be some nice blocking there i also like this variation down here like almost like there's like they're near the northern lights or something but there's just maybe these are mountains 
reasons or I'm not sure, but I, I'd like the color variation and the way that's blending. It's really pretty. Uh, another one that I feel like I need, but I can't get them all. I've got to decide at some point. Okay, next. Here we go. Here's the gnomes. Uh, Gnome Carolers by Susan Wingett. It is 47.9 centimeters by 40. Oh, Nugget's wanting to bark today, huh? What is it, bud? He was barking at a sock. Anyway, so we were talking about the size. 47.9 centimeters by 42.6 centimeters. It is a round drill. 41 colors with three ABs and one iridescent diamond. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, it says full image on the Facebook, so we already know this is cut off. Okay, there is what they showed us on Instagram. We already kind of saw the Facebook one. Here is the full original image. Here is the full rendering. Are they not so freaking cute? Y'all, this is probably gonna sell out. Like the gnomes always sell out. That's kind of a thing with the gnomes. So if you want this one, be sure, be ready at release time. Now, I don't know, I, do you think the iridescent one is like the snowflakes? Or, I don't know, that's an awful lot if it is. I don't know. Um, I know that, that I saw, did I see a sneak peek come up for this one? I think so. So I'm sure they'll show it in the sneak peek. It'll be linked down below. But I'm very curious about what that is. This one is very festive. I'm not usually really dro dro drawn. That's what I'm looking for. Drawn to the gnomes. But this one I really do like. And look at the little birdie. Oh, okay. Okay. Next. Nugget is coming to visit. Look at the camera, Bobo. No, no. <laughs> Just the side of Nugget's head. That's all you get. Look, look over there. Look over here. Oh, there he is. There he is. There's a good boy. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> all right, this one. So cute. Uh, Lighting the Way by Marcello Corti. It is, uh, what, 111.5 centimeters by 55.8 centimeters. It's square drill, 60 colors with three ABs, full image on the Facebook. Wow, it's, it's really that big? I had no idea. Oh, look at his face. Ugh, it's so cute. Okay. No, we already looked at that one. This one. Oh, it is. Look at all this stuff that was cut off. Okay, uh, that, uh, we had to have another barking break. So what was I saying? I think I was talking about the sides being cut off. This is great. I love all of this stuff. I love the sleigh over here in the tree, the presents, the reindeer. I didn't even know they were in it because I only looked at the Instagram one. But I mean, Santa looks really good. I should show the rendering. Santa looks really good. And I like his, um, his sack of toys here. I didn't know there was a snowman and this pole with the wreath. This is so good. Oh, this one is so good. I don't know. Should I get this one? I really wonder. I wonder about all of this background. It like not not the sleigh and all of these like decorative pieces, but like just the buildings. Like that looks like just a few colors. Maybe I would get bored with that. I don't know. It looks pretty good. <laughs> I've got to talk myself out of some of these. My goodness. Okay. Last one. I think. Yeah. Oh. Again, again, I don't know what to do. Forest Friends by Donna Gelsinger. You get me every time, Donna Gelsinger. 58.8 centimeters by 73.7 centimeters. It's a round drill, 57 colors with four ABs. Look at the little animals. Oh, and the rendering. Oh my gosh, and this is a round? It's so detailed. It looks so good. Oh no. Oh no. I think this one might be the one <laughs> that I gotta have. <laughs> Let's see if there's any cutoff. I don't think it was, but oh my goodness. All these little baby animals. <sighs> yep. 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 Okay. I'm gonna try to talk myself out of it by saying the background might be boring, but honestly, I think that's a lie because look at all of these different colors and like the the shadow not shadows but like you can tell there's trees back there like this is kind of the form of a tree but it just doesn't have lots of uh like details in it because it's farther off 
I mean, there's a lot going on, and they're just, this is rendered so well. Oh my goodness. I think this one, other than the merry and bright one with the Christmas tree, this one's my favorite, I think. Oh boy. And I really have seen a lot of excitement about these. Oh, is the sun? The sun is coming in really funny on my face, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> Well, just, just, just look past that for a minute. Well, maybe we can move a little bit. Yeah, I can back up. All right. Anyway, yeah, I've seen a lot of excitement about these. So I really do have kind of expectations that they're going to sell out. I, I obviously I don't really know, but I really feel like this is going to be a big one, a big release. So we have reached the end of this week of holidays. <laughs> I think we've gone through every one of them. I, I, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So let me make my camera big <laughs> so I can say goodbye. I have enjoyed this video and coming back to the roundup and talking to you guys. I will do my best. There's been a lot of sneak peeks, kind of a lot more than I expected there to be. I will do my best to link to them down below, but I, if I do happen to forget, something and you're looking for a sneak peek for that one there is if you are in the vip facebook group for diamond art club then there's also a collage made every week on there that will give you a link to all the sneak peeks so if something's missing from my list then definitely check there and see if it's on that list for now i will let you guys go and i will talk to you in the next video good luck shopping tomorrow and i guess merry christmas are we gonna have more like Christmas releases or is this going to be the big big one from Diamond Art Club? I don't know, but if if this is it, then Merry Christmas everyone. <laughs> I'll talk to you soon. Bye.